Right, during my break, I took a call from a young lady from Pumalanga called Rosaline. And Rosaline, I think that we have you at the other end of the line. Hi there. Hi. Hi, how are you, Rosaline? I'm good. Good, I just need them to get your sound turned down just a little bit, then I'll be able to hear you. Okay. okay, Rosaline, you said that this was a question in a recent exam, did you say? Yes. Okay, and they said that you had to calculate this and w do it without a calculator, is that right? Yeah, it's right. Okay, all right. Uh, did you have any idea where to start? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, Studio, I'm really battling. It's very loud in my ear. I can't hear a thing. Okay. Okay. All right, Rosaline, what we need yes. to understand in matric is that angles like 75 and 15 now become accessible to us because of our compound angle formula. Yes. Okay. So can you tell me what the formula is when you've got two angles that are added together. Can you tell me what the formula is? It will be, if it's, yeah, if it's sine A plus B, it is sine A times cos B. Okay, no, it's not sine A, sine B, it's sine A. Sine A mm -hmm. times cos B. Okay, it's sine A cos B. Plus All right. cos B. Okay, sine A cos B plus? Plus cos B. No. Plus cos B. Plus cos A sine B. Now, okay, yes. <laughs> now that is the formula that we actually get given on our formula sheet. All right. Okay, so it means that when I've got two angles added, then I can expand it using this formula, sine A cos B plus cos yes. A sine B. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take the sine of 75 and I'm going to use this formula on the sine of 75. Okay? okay, now what two familiar angles can you use to make up 75? And you need to think special angles. It will be 9 minus 15. It's going to be 45 and 30. 45 plus 15. No, not 60 plus 15. 45 and 30. 30, 35. Okay. So now if our two angles are 45 and 30, expand it for me using the formula that I've just given you. Sine 45. Yes. Cos 30. Yes, cos 30. Plus. Yes. Cos 45. Yes. Sine 30. Yes. Alright, so all you've done is you've followed the pattern as they gave it to you when you've got two angles added to each other. Okay? okay. Now what do you know about the sine of 45? Uh, I think it will be sine 45 plus, oh no. Uh, uh, what is the sine of 45 using special angles? I, I, I have no idea. You have no idea. All right, so <laughs> in, grade, in grade 11, you should have learned how to do all of these things as special angles, like the sine of 45 and the sine of 30, etc. Did you know, do you know how to do those without a calculator? No. No? Without, yes, I know. You know, okay, so what is the sign of 45 with special angles? Sign of 45, I think, will be root 2. It's root 2 over 2. Yes. Okay, and the sign of 30? 
It will be one over two. One over two. Okay, so yes. those are the things that I'm trying to get us to, to be able to do and to substitute in here, okay? So we're going to substitute the sine of 45 with root 2 over 2. The cos of 30, we're going to substitute with root 3 over 2. The cos of 45 is root 2 over 2. And the sine of 30 is a half. Yes. Okay. So after all of that, Rosaline, I can say that this term is root 2 times root 3. And what's root 2 times root 3? It's 3. It's no. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. What is root 2 times root 3? I think it would be okay. not root 6. It's root 6 over 4 and root 2 over 4. Okay, Plus, now those two like terms, two mm -hmm. over four. good, so those two terms, if I bring them together, are going to be root 6 plus root 2 all over 4. four. Okay, now yes. if you remember what this thing was equal to was the sine of 75. Okay. Okay. Now the next part of your problem it was the sine of 75 times the cos of 15. That's what the question was. Okay? Yes. Now, do you know by reduction formula, co-ratios, that the cos of 15, Rosaline, is actually the same as the sine of 75? Okay, I didn't know, but now I know. Okay, so those are co-ratioed. All right? So basically, right. I'm not going to go through another whole working out because I've actually got that the cos of 15 is just another sine 75. Okay. Okay. Now, what do I know about the sine of 75 from the previous bit of working? It's, it's root 6. Root 6 plus root 2. Plus root 2 over 4. Good. And so I'm just going to multiply that. By itself because it's sine 75 Correct. times sine 75 yes all right now could you multiply right. this out for me I'm, I'm using my calculator no you don't need your calculator <laughs> what's the okay. root of 6 times the root of 6 it's 6 okay and what's the root of 6 times the root of 2 it's root 12 okay and what's the root of 2 times the root of 6? It's root 12. Part. Okay, you see, you don't need your calculator. And what's root 2 times root 2? 2. Good. And on the denominator, what's 4 times 4? It's 16. Excellent. So now you're one step away because on the top, you've got 8 and 2 root 12 and over 16. All right. Now, if you were to actually take this into your calculator, it would simplify it further for you because the root of 12 is actually the same as 2 root 3. Okay. All right. So that right. means that I'm actually going to get 2 times 2 root 3 over 16. And I could simplify that further. Because on the top, I could take out a 4, Rosaline. Yes, ma'am. Okay, as a common factor. And then you can see that this 4 and this 16, they can cancel. And so your final answer would be 2 plus root 3 okay. over 4. Okay. Okay. All right. And this is, the quest this is the answer that you will get if you put it in a calculator, just to check if you do it on a calculator. Okay. 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 Thank you.